Welcome once again to my channel. Now here on the screen is a 3D basketball. And without wasting much time, I'm going to show you how I created this ball, this 3D basketball, using the 3D modeling tools. So I'm going to start a fresh one on a new page. So I come right here and click on File and choose New. Okay, here is a new page. So I'm going to switch off the grid mode here. Switch off the grid mode and do my setup right here. So I click on U, type U and choose Units and do my setup right here. So on the type, I'm going to choose Decimal. That is already highlighted there. Then on precision, I'm going to choose zero. And on insertion scale, I choose millimeters. Now all other setup remains the way they are. So I click OK. Okay, so for this drawing, I'm going to use a 3D modeling workspace for it. So I come right up here, click and choose 3D modeling. And to start with, I'm going to switch to the front view. So on the view panel, click and choose front view. Okay. Right, so I'm going to start by using the sphere command to draw a sphere of diameter 100. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on this a little. Okay, so I'm going to draw yet another sphere, this time of diameter 98. Right click, diameter, and enter 98. Okay. Okay, and so I'm going to subtract the inner sphere from this outer sphere. So I move down to the solid subtract command and click on it. Then click on the outer sphere, which is this. And subtract this inner one. Okay, so I now have a hollow sphere of thickness 2 millimeter. Move it to this side. So I'm going to draw yet another sphere. Use the sphere command. Draw another sphere right here of diameter 98. Okay. Now repeat sphere again, with here at center, draw another sphere of diameter 96. Okay, again I'll have to subtract the inner sphere from the outer one. So I come right here and click on the solid subtract command. Subtract from this outer sphere. Enter, then subtract the inner sphere. Okay. Again, I have a sphere here of outer diameter 98 of uh, thickness 2 millimeter. And the, the inside is hollow. I now have a hollow sphere. A hollow sphere of 2 millimeter thick. Okay. So I will draw a rectangle. Of two, two by one one zero. Okay, so I'm going to draw yet another rectangle horizontally, but this time I'm going to copy it and rotate. So I click on rotate with here as the center, right click and choose copy. I have to check the auto mode to keep the horizontal, then enter. All right, so I'm now going to copy these two, pick it from this quadratic center, and drop it right here. Okay, now with the ellipse command, I'm going to draw an ellipse. 
So these are the major axes and the minor axis. Make it up to this. It should be okay. So I click on move, move this, and move to the left by 15. Okay. Now using the offset command, I'm going to offset this by 4 millimeter. So enter offset command. Offset by 4. So enter 4. Then click on this. Alright. Right, so I'm going to now draw a straight line from anywhere here. Vertically downwards. Enter. Then use the trim command to trim off this. This. And remove these ones. Erase. Okay. Now draw a line to close up this. Draw another line to clo close up this. So I can just right click and choose repeat line. You can close up this as well. Enter. Okay. Right now with the join command, click on join. I'm going to join this. Enter. Okay. So with the mirror command, I'm going to mirror this very one now to the right. So I click on this modify panel and choose mirror. Click on this. Now with here at the center, mirror to the right. Okay, now I'm going to switch to isometric view. Click and choose South East Isometric. Okay, so I'm going to draw a straight line from this center and terminate it right here. Then move these geometries, move this. This and this two enter from this very point and drop it right here. Okay, switch to shade of gray. Right now, with the extrude command, I'm going to extrude these ones. Extrude this and this. Enter. Right. Now, with the solid subtract command, I'm going to subtract the zones from this very sphere. So I click on solid subtract, subtract from the sphere, and subtract these ones. Enter. Okay. I can now delete this line. Here is. Okay, so I will now move to wireframe. Change the view to wireframe. Then move this. Click on the move command. And move this from the center. From the center. Then bring it to the center of this sphere as well. Locate the center. That's the center. Okay. So here are the two spheres now together. Now let's now view the shade of gray. Okay, so here is the the two spheres together now. So I'm going to apply colors to differentiate them. So I want to right click on this, double click on this, and choose a color. This color should be alright. 
and exit then double click on this bigger one too and choose a color as well I choose this color okay so here are the two colors now applied so now let's now view the realistic view so here is the here is the basketball so here is the basketball okay so I'm going to apply fillet on the sharp edges of these cutouts the sharp edges so I'll do that type F and choose fillet edge then choose this now since this distance is just 2 I'm going to choose a radius of 1 ok now apply the fillet on these sharp edges Then turn it around to apply the fillet on all the edges. Okay. So all the edges have not been applied with fillet edge so and here is now the basketball now complete okay so next I'll just have to use the union command to unite all the to unite the two spheres and enter Okay, so here is now the basketball complete. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe for more tutorials.